In this section, we will look at examples of how transfer learning is applied in a few useful TensorFlow libraries and tools. And we will start with how to use TensorFlow Lite Model Maker to train a model on image data with just a few lines of code. In this video, we first have a brief overview of TensorFlow Lite and Model Maker. Then we will discuss the Icons 50 data that is used in the Colab example. We will then walk through the code in Colab to make an icon classifier with the TensorFlow Lite Model Maker. So, what is TensorFlow Lite? TensorFlow Lite, or short for TF Lite, is a set of tools that help us to run TensorFlow models on mobile and edge devices. It has two main components a converter that converts a Keras model or saved model to a TF Lite file format, and then an interpreter that executes model inference and optimize for small devices. And then there's TF Lite Model Maker, which is a new tool recently added to help developers make a model easily. Under the hood, TF Lite Model Maker handles data loading and pre processing and use transfer learning for training the model. TF Lite Model Maker also handles the model conversion to .TF Lite format, which is ready to be deployed to model and edge devices. TF Lite Model Maker is really easy to use. First, we pip install the Model Maker. Then, with just four lines of code to handle data preprocessing, model training, model evaluation, and finally, model conversion. We will be using the Icons 50 dataset in the Colab example. You can download the Icons 50 dataset directly from Kaggle. There are 50 classes of icons and total of 10,000 icon images. Now let's go through a Colab example to see how we can create an image classifier with the TF Lite Model Maker with just a few lines of code. So first, let's install TF Lite Model Maker. Then we enable TensorFlow 2.x and import TensorFlow and check the current TensorFlow version in Colab. And then we import NumPy, Matplotlib, and TF Lite Model Maker related classes. So now we're ready to work on the data pipeline. Here we're going to make a dataset directory. You see this folder gets created in Colab. And next, we're going to mount your Google Drive and copy over the icons50.zip file. So if you follow the URL in the browser and follow through the steps, you can get an auth code that you can copy paste into here and just hit enter after entering your authorization code. And you will see that, click on refresh, that your Google Drive is mounted over here. And we copy this icons50.zip files to the datasets folder. And we're going to unzip this icons.zip file to the datasets folder. Now that the icons image have been unzipped, we're ready to load the icons50 data. First, we set the image path to be where the icons images are extracted to. Then, with just one end of code, image classifier data loader from folder image path loads and preprocesses the icons50 data. Now, since this is just a folder of images, we will need to specify the data split. So here's how we will set the data split of 80% for training, 10% for validation, and 10% for the test data set. Now let's print out these numbers. We have 50 classes, 8,000 training examples, 1,000 validation examples, and then 1,000 test examples. Now let's create a list of label names, which can be used later for data visualization. And let's visualize just two of the icon images. Notice that these two icon images have different sizes. The first one is 120 by 120, and the second one is 64 by 64. Now that we have the data loaded and pre-processed, we're ready for model training. So again, with 
just one line of code, we're ready to train the model. By default, the pre-trained model in a model maker is a efficient net light zero, and the input image shape is 224 by 224, and the number of epochs is five, although here I have set it to be 10, and then the default batch size is a 32. So now the model is being trained for 10 epochs. Now that the model has finished the training, we can evaluate the model by checking the test accuracy. And the test accuracy is pretty good at 96.6%. Let's visualize the predictions from the model. First, we will take 16 images from the test data set. And then we get the top predictions for each of the images and show a few of them. So each prediction includes the label name and a probability. Next, let's display the icon images along with their predictions. If the model got it right, we show the label as green. And if the model got it wrong, we show it as red. Well, it just so happens in all of these 16, we got it all right. But the model accuracy is 96%. So it will not get all of the predictions correctly. Now with one line of code, we can export the icon classifier into two files. One is the model.tflight file. Another one is the labels.txt file. And you can just go ahead and download them here by right clicking and click on download. Click on download here. And these files are ready to be used in your mobile apps or edgy devices. As I mentioned earlier, by default, the model maker uses an efficient net light zero. So you can change this underlying pre-trained model to another efficient net light one, for example. I have included a link here for you to take a look at all the efficient net light models. You can also change the pre-trained model to a mobile net V2 or a ResNet 50 here. For now, the TF Light Model Maker supports only the efficient net light models, MobileNet V2 and ResNet 50. In addition, you can also change the pre trained model to another one on TensorFlow Hub. So here you include a link to the model. And notice that here we need to change the image shape to 299 by 299. That's required by Inception V3. And then in the code of image classifier dot create you change the model spec to be the inception v3 spec that you created here so in this notebook we just looked at how to use the tf light model maker to create an icon classifier with just a few lines of code which is much easier than the previous transfer learning examples we saw with tf .caris and with tf hub models you can also use the TF Lite model maker on tax classification.